Okay, you guys, cupcake. So I'm doing this. If you saw the wellness fair, I'm doing the wellness fair today too. So for cupcakes, kind of same things, kind of same techniques that we've been going through. So you're going to want to, I thought someone was behind me, that scared me. Um, you're going to want to sift all your dry ingredients. So for these cupcakes, um, it's a couple dry ingredients. So all purpose flour, um, you could use cake flour. Sometimes I do cake flour in this if I'm doing like an actual stacked cake. Um, it's already a very moist, I know everybody hates the word moist, cake. Um, but if you wanted it extra um, delicate, you could do that. So all purpose flour, cocoa powder, that's where we're getting our chocolate from. Um, two leaveners, so we have baking powder and baking soda. We have baking powder and baking soda because the cocoa powder has acidity in it, remember? So, and we'll talk about that in class, why you need both. So both of those, we have salt, salt flavor, um, and we're going to sift them. If you have a KitchenAid mixer or a little mixer, you can use that at home um, to mix the wet ingredients, which I'll show you in just a second. So sift that. And then, so we're good to go with that. Then in the other bowl, we're going to mix mayonnaise. I know this is super weird and every time I do this or bring out this recipe, people will be like, oh, gross, disgusting, mayonnaise, Ugh, I hate mayonnaise. All mayonnaise is is eggs and oil. So um, this is going to be what softens and makes your cupcake moist. I know I'm not moist, horrible word, but um, it's really good and if you hate it you never have to make it again but I've never met a student that hated it so it sounds gross but I bet you'll learn to love it the eggs so remember crack the eggs into a separate container just in case you get a shell Ooh, I almost cracked it in the other one and I ended up putting my vanilla in in with my water um, I use clear vanilla um, so that's why it looks like that but my vanilla is in with my water. So you're gonna add all these things. One thing I wanna say is if you're gonna add all these things into this bowl, don't just walk away from it because the sugar will actually start to cook the eggs and you don't want that because um, then you'll have clumps of um, cooked egg in there. So you wanna mix it up right away. I would give this a couple of minutes of mixing it with a whisk to try to incorporate air. If you don't have a whisk at home per chance, mix it up with a spatula and then take a fork to it. A fork will, the tines of the fork will help incorporate air. So, um, for sake of demonstration, and these are going to just people at Lincoln and they don't even look at things before they eat them because they're so excited. So, um, I am going to mix about a third of my dry ingredients in to my wet ingredients, just like this. Stir, stir. And then I'm gonna add in about half of my water and vanilla. And I'm gonna add in, once it's about, I don't know, 75% mixed together, I'm gonna add in another third of my dry so you want the last third of your dry to go in last. This is gonna make sure that you're not over mixing your um, cake, your cupcake batter. I'm gonna stir it in. Also, this whisk, is gonna, whisk will help so you don't have lumps. Um, but if you have lumps, don't worry about it. Not the end of the world. You wanna make sure you sift your dry ingredients. So if you don't sift your dry ingredients, I've been lazy and not done it before. I'm gonna go with this last third in here while I talk. Not done it before, and then when um, the cupcakes come out, you'll notice that some maybe like a flour chunk has risen to the top. You're like, oh man, shouldn't have been so lazy. Um, and that's the price you pay, folks. That's the price you pay. Okay, so all dry ingredients, everything's in there. Dry being last so you don't over mix it. And you'll see that in a lot of different cake recipes. If you're like, oh, I'm not really into chocolate cake, I put up a vanilla cake recipe um, from the Sugar Geek Show that you can do um, as well. It's a really good vanilla cake and you can add, if you wanna make it funfetti, you can add sprinkles to it, um, have fun with it. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna 
get the whisk out of here and I'm gonna make sure everything's really nicely mixed together with a spatula. So remember scraping the bottom. But this is, I'm gonna show you guys a close up of the batter. This is what the batter looks like. So it's kind of um, loose, runny a little bit and that's what you want it to look like. So some cupcake batters you'll see like butter cakes. Um, if you ever hear that term, butter cakes are generally a lot stiffer of a batter. Um, it doesn't mean better or worse by any means. It's just um, a different type of recipe. So the mayonnaise is our fat in this recipe, what's keeping things moist. So that's why um, it's a little bit looser. So these are, believe it or not, the only um, cupcake liners I have at Lincoln. I'm not really this fancy. Um, but I'm gonna fill them about two thirds of the way full. Two thirds of the way full will make it so they rise. I'm not gonna fill the liners two thirds of the way full, sorry, I'm gonna fill the, the cups. So you guys will likely have cupcake liners that sit a little bit lower, um, just like the standard cupcake liners. Or if you don't wanna use cupcake liners, you can use, you can spray, use pan spray or butter in there so that they don't stick. Um, so I'm using um, a cookie scoop or a portion scoop is what we call it, uh, just so these fill up evenly. Uh, but if you do it, you can eyeball it. Just use a spoon and you can eyeball it, no problemo. Um, same, same. Just make sure you're filling them all up the same, because if they look the same, they'll cook the same and we want them to cook the same. Um, so. That's what that looks like. It looks like it's gonna make about 20 cupcakes. So if you don't think you can eat that many cupcakes, and believe it or not, this is a half recipe, um, then make a half recipe, make half that recipe that I gave you. Okay, so these are gonna go into a preheated oven at 350 degrees, and I'm gonna set a timer for 22 minutes, and then at 22 minutes, I'm gonna check for doneness. So the check for doneness is you'll pull them out, you'll touch the top. If it doesn't feel like it's, um, soft like it's still batter then you'll um get a toothpick and you'll check with the toothpick if the toothpick comes out clean you're good to go i remember i never had toothpicks as a kid when i was checking things at home so i always did a fork um no big deal it kind of makes one of them look funny but um if that's all you have that's all you have okay so going in the oven at 350 and i'll come back and show you frosting techniques Um, cream cheese frosting recipe. You can do this in a mixer, um, a KitchenAid mixer, or you can just do it by hand. So just make sure that your ingredients are softened um, and you're gonna kind of uh, take something hard like a rubber spatula or a wooden spoon. Um, if your, your butter and your cream cheese are gonna go into the bowl first and you're gonna kind of smash them against the side of the bowl so there's no more lumps and then you'll add in your cream cheese or sorry your sugar and your vanilla to taste. Um, I think I put half a cup of sugar in there. You guys can do whatever sugar amount um, you like. That might not be enough for some of you. Um, I also put another like buttercream, a simple buttercream type recipe in there. It's up to you guys what you want to use. So if you're going to use, you can just plop frosting on here. So again, um, I had to use these fancy ones, but if you say you had your cupcakes like this, um, you can just take a spoon and kind of spread it on there. And then anything looks better with sprinkles, right? So if you spread it on there and then add a few sprinkles to the top, it'll be beautiful, no big deal. Some of you will be in person for this. Um, so we can play with pastry bags. If you're doing a pastry bag, so if you do this like flat, I have an offset spatula here, uh, um, a teaspoon would work fine too, or uh, sorry, a knife, butter knife would work fine too. So you do that and then you take like the tip of a butter knife and go through, start in the middle. You can go through and kind of cut into it and make like a rose, like a little swirl on the top that looks like a rose. It's kind of cute. Um, just to make it a little more fun and get a little more um, dimension to it so it's not just flat. So if you were doing a pastry bag you want to um or if you want to borrow a pastry bag if you're at home you totally can so or have it because they're plastic 
you're gonna cut off the tip of it just enough to where um, you can put the, the pastry tip in there and you can see the tines. So I'll show you what that means in just a second. So I'm gonna put the pastry tip in there and you don't want it to be. So if, if you didn't cut off enough and it looked like that and the tines weren't sticking through, you wouldn't, that wouldn't be good because it's just gonna come out in a blob. So you wanna um, have it enough so the tines, you can see that the plastic's down here and then the tines um, are showing through because that's what's gonna give you the shape. So I twist it and then push it down and then I fold my pastry bag over like this. That way I have somewhere to hold it like that. Then I'm gonna shove some frosting in here. I made so much frosting. Um, shove some frosting in here. And then I can use my hand, which is on the inside of the bag, to scrape it. So now, like teachers waiting outside the window for cupcakes, they're so excited. So now um, I'm gonna make sure the frosting, like there's no air pockets in there. And I'm gonna twist this bag. I'm gonna twist and put pressure so that it comes out like that. Um, comes out the end and the reason why I twist it is so st stuff doesn't come down. So now You're going to put your non-dominant or your dominant hand on top So I my dominant hand my right hand is on top my left hand's gonna guide and I'm just gonna do little rosettes So I'm gonna start it like I'll show you I'll undo another cupcake So so start at 12 o'clock go counterclockwise all the way around and up nice little um, rosette um, or I mean you can do as simple as you want you can just do little swirls you can go all the way around um, it kind of depends all different there's all different tips and stuff for them I want you guys to look at videos I'll put some videos up of simple decorate cupcake decorating but be creative and have fun with it because um, it's not a hard recipe okay thank you